Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make my special lotion dye mixture that I use for the Lazy Wave dye and pretty much all of my dyes. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need uh, some kind of lotion, you're going to need Floetrol, some hot water, and then I use color intensifier that you get with eye dye poly packets. That's optional, you don't necessarily need it. Uh, you're also going to need your dye powder. I recommend Pro Chemical and Dye Disc Dye Powder. I've got Radical Red, Neon Lemon Zest, and Caribbean Blue that I'm using. So first thing you're going to want to do is take your dye powder and get a nice, uh, get a nice scoop on your stirring stick and put it in your glass. If I had to put a measurement on it, I'd say it's about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons. Um, you know, you can't really add too much. So don't be stingy on uh, your dye amount. We want it to be nice and vibrant. Um, after that, we're gonna come in with our hot water and add it to our dye powder. Um, we wanna add enough to where we get the, uh, the powder completely covered with the water. Um, the idea is we want to uh, fully incorporate all the powder into the water. That way we don't get clumps, we don't get chunks of the powder. It's gonna make our dye a lot uh, smoother. So yeah, um, swirl it around in your glass. Again, we want to fully incorporate it into the mixture. No clumps, you know, or as little um, little clumps as possible. We're going to be doing some stirring later that's going to clear that up. Uh, next thing, we're going to come in with our Floetrol. Um, a nice, generous, um, you know, helping of Floetrol into our mixture there. That's going to, again, that's going to keep our mixture from um, being too clumpy. Um, we're gonna, it's going to help us get that dye fully incorporated into the mixture. So give it a good stir, um, stir it up until it's about like, you know, like a paint-like consistency, no clumps, no powder. Um, then we're going to come in with our lotion. I recommend Queen Helene Cocoa Butter. You can find it at Walmart. Usually it's relatively pretty cheap, but again, like any kind of lotion will do. Just don't spend too much money on it. Um, Suave or Equate brands, like another good one. Uh, we're gonna come in, stir once again. I'm a, I'm a big stirrer, you know, I stir a lot. I don't want any clumps, I don't want any chunks, anything that's gonna um, create any kind of smears or splotching it's um, in our final dye. So um, again, like I want it to be like a paint-like consistency. I want it to look like paint. So this is um, probably the most important part of um, my whole process is the, the consistency part. Uh, this consistency is going to be too thick. Um, so we're going to want to thin that out. So you're going to take your hot water and pretty much you're going to add hot water and mix until we get the correct consistency. It's going to be kind of like a paint-like consistency. So we're going to add and stir until all of our colors match this consistency. It's kind of hard to, con uh, you know, to explain. Just kind of got to look at it. Um, it's it's when the the mixture just kind of rolls off the end of the stick like that. It's thin, but not too watery, not too thin. You get everything mixed up go ahead and pour the mixture in your bottles and you're good to go uh, you can do a lot of different designs with this all the designs i do eventually i'm going to make a tutorial for each design and that does include the lazy wave so make sure you go down and you subscribe to the channel turn on those alerts and look out for that lazy wave tutorial and every other tutorial that i have planned thanks for watching and i'll see you next time